Ledger Nano X versus S Plus. Which one is right for you? We have a comparison of the specs right here and a side by side to make sure that you're choosing the right one for your needs. The Ledger Nano S Plus is around half the price of the Nano X, coming in at more or less $80, where the Nano X is around $150. I'll leave a link to the official Ledger store in the description. You absolutely must buy from the official store because if you buy from a secondhand seller, uh, then there may be issues with the device being already loaded or just a fake device. And if that happens, someone can gain access to all of your crypto. So when you buy from the official store, they will be factory sealed with security seals as well. And then when you plug the device into your computer, it will actually tell you if the device is real as well and has been preloaded. And so important to buy just from the real Ledger store. They do ship worldwide. And I'll leave that link in the description. Why is the S Plus half the price of the Nano X and should you pay extra for the features of the Nano X? Both the S Plus and the Nano X have the same amount of applications. Now, when you use a ledger and you want to put uh, assets and crypto on there, you have to first put the application onto the device. 100 apps for each, and so they support the exact same blockchains, so that's good. Secondly, in terms of the amount of cryptos that are supported, they actually support the exact same amount as well. And this is a big upgrade in the Nano S Plus versus the Nano S. The Nano S before had much fewer coin support, but now the S Plus being cheaper than the Nano X actually has the exact same amount. So they have 500 coins natively, although they are adding more over time natively. And if you do wanna link them up to external uh, wallets, you can do that in the exact same way and both add around 5,000 coins and tokens there. So they both support the exact same amount of apps and tokens, and so there's no difference between them. The Ledger Nano S Plus is a little bit smaller than the Nano X, as you can see, but it's not really any big difference. And the Nano S Plus actually has buttons on the top, which you press to confirm actions. And on the Nano X, they're actually on the side or the front of the device, and you just press both buttons. But the use case is exactly the same, despite the design being slightly different. When you set up the devices with Ledger Live, which is the software that you get, they both have the exact same setup process. And so you have a 24 word recovery phrase on both. It's really important when you set up the device to write this down because that is essentially your recovery phrase for the wallet. And so if you lose one of these devices or it gets broken for some reason, that doesn't matter. You have the 24 word phrase that you can write down and then you can just reload your crypto wallet on a different ledger device. So if it's broken, buy a new one and have some spares and then you can reload your wallet on that device as well. And all your coins, of course, are on the blockchain and not on these devices specifically. They are both exactly the same in this regard. Ledger on their site actually sell some other um, products, for example, steel, like uh, accessories. If you go here, they have bifold and uh, crypto tag, which are very good to actually punch, as you can see, your recovery phrase into. So rather than writing down those 24, 24 words on a sheet of paper, you can use something like the crypto tag Zeus. It literally is a plate of steel and you etch the code into this and so it won't get damaged or get old in any way. Um, so a lot of people use that. Now the downside is if you have that 24 word recovery phrase on a piece of steel, someone actually steals that from you in from your house or wherever you keep it, then they'll have that right there and they can reload the wallet from those 24 words. So this is important. Those 24 words keep your wallet safe and you might want to keep them on one or two crypto tags or in lock boxes. That's obviously safety precautions for your recovery phrase, but your recovery phrase is extremely important because that's actually your wallet and you can reload it, for example, on you know a few other um, ledger devices if one gets broken or lost. If we look at the security for both of the devices as well, they are exactly the same. So they're both secured with the same chip and they have pin protection. So when you actually open the wallet or the device for the first time, each time that you do something important, it will just ask you to open the wallet with a pin up to six numbers. And so you can set that exactly the same on both. And as you can see, most of the support on both is exactly the same. USB-C in the device itself, but that can go through to USB-A or USB-C. They both come with a USB-C to USB-A cable. So if you have USB-C to USB-C, you might wanna get your own cable just to link up to a computer or other device. And as you can see, they both have OLED screens, uh, exactly the same size, just the Ledger Nano S Plus is a little bit physically smaller as you saw.
So why is the S Plus half the price of the Nano X? It comes down to two things which are really important use cases. So firstly, the Nano X has a battery, a standalone battery, meaning that the device is able to power itself without being plugged into anything. Just charge it up and then you can take the Nano X anywhere you want. It also has a Bluetooth connection. And this is important because the S Plus doesn't. So with the Nano X, what you can actually do is use it on the go and approve transactions from the Ledger Live app on your phone via Bluetooth. So that's the major difference between them. As we can see here, they both support Windows 10, Mac, and a few other operating systems, including Android, but the Nano S Plus doesn't support Apple iOS. So the S Plus itself doesn't have a battery and you need to plug it in for the thing to actually power on. So if you do wanna use the S Plus, you do need to be near your computer and it's only able to actually turn on when it draws power from the computer. So you have to plug it in and then as soon as you plug it in, the, de the device actually powers on and you can start to unlock it and approve transactions. As soon as you plug it out, the thing just goes dead. And so it doesn't have a battery, obviously the Nano X does. Now with Bluetooth as well, with the Nano S Plus, you cannot use the, Net, the Nano S Plus with your iPhone. So if you're out on the go and you wanna approve a transaction or you just don't wanna plug it in, you cannot do that with the S Plus. You can actually uh, use a OTG cable and plug in the Nano S Plus to an Android device if you wanna use it that way. It is able to draw power from that device and uh, be able to link up. As you can see, it is um, available to be used with Android 9, but I, Apple iOS, you cannot plug it in. So if you have an iPhone and you wanna use it with an iPhone with the Ledger Live app and actually have your phone here and approve the transaction on your device, you need the Nano X. And you can use that as a standalone device. The Nano S Plus really, is for you know a backup maybe where you can plug it into your your computer or your android device and actually physically have them connected together so the main difference is the nano x has a battery and bluetooth so you can use it in every situation whereas the nano s plus doesn't have those things and so you need to physically plug it in either to a computer or an android device for it to actually work but as you can see everything else essentially apart from that works in exactly the same way if you want a deep dive and setup tutorial for both of these devices and the Ledger Live app, all of those videos are linked in the description and the official store is linked down there as well. Make sure you're getting it from the official store. I'm James with Money ZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.